Hello, Ilian here, and in this video, we're going to talk about the different device groups that Mesh Central supports agent and agentless device groups. So in Mesh Central, there's two different device groups you can create when you start off. And these are uh, the agent and agentless one. So I'm going to start by switching over to my trusty developer server here. And the first thing I'm going to do is notice that I am currently in hybrid mode, which allows me to talk to devices on my local LAN network while also um, supporting WAN features uh, for contacting devices over the internet. So what I'm going to do is keep it in this mode and I'm going to go to the website and show you that when I create a new device group, there is this option for creating a normal device group with software agents or a Intel AMT only no agent device group. Now, the normal device group is fairly simple. You install the agent on all the devices. They contact the server and you can manage them. With the agentless one or the Intel AMT only device groups, you, you're in a device group of computers that will run no agent inside the OS. Instead, it will use Intel AMT to manage the computers uh, with uh, no OS software whatsoever. Now, you're, quite li you're limited in what you can do, but you have no agent, which is kind of cool. So the first group that I have on top here is an agent-less group or AMT-only group. And on the bottom here with all the computers is a uh, normal group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this machine here. And I'm going to start over by showing you that normally with an a device group that has agents, you click on add agent, you pick your agent installation type and you go from there. But if you're in an agentless group, you can click add local and you can add a local machine on your network. So uh, that works well if you're of course in LAN mode. Now what I'm going to do is take this machine here. I'm going to take its IP address and I'm going to add it as a AMT machine 15, put the IP address, put the AMT password for that device, uh, no security for now, and you click OK. And as soon as that happens, it will take a few seconds, the server will try to contact that machine on the local network. And once it found, finds it, it will log in using the credentials you gave it. If you entered the wrong credentials, it will try to recover by seeing if it knew about this machine in the past. And if it does, it will take those credentials and use those. Um, and then, you know, it will take a minute or two, but you'll, you'll see, there it goes, it logged into AMT and it says powered now. That means that it got the power state of that device through AMT and retrieved it. Um, this would have worked, by the way, if the computer is, was sleeping or soft off. You would have seen soft off, just like this one, for example. This AMT14 is soft off. Uh, obviously, the agent is not running on this computer, but AMT is still reachable. And through that, Mesh Central sees that the computer is uh, in a powered off state. So let's back to this machine here. I can click on it. I can, of course, change the icon, change the name of the machine like you would normally. You, um, you have the details tab. Now, what happened is Mesh Central pulled all the hardware inventory from Mesh Central and this is gathered it in the database and is displaying it here. Now, this information was actually gathered by the BIOS of the machine, pushed into AMT on last boot. And so now this is what you're seeing uh, here. So it's interesting because this information was not gathered by an agent in the OS. It was gathered by the BIOS and pulled through AMT. The uh, desktop here. You can see the hardware connect button and I can connect and uh, remote desktop to this computer. But here what's happening is AMT is grabbing a screenshot of the internal uh, graphic adapter inside the CPU 
in, uh, compressing it and sending it over to Mesh Central. Also, when I move the mouse or when I type any key on the keyboard, there's two USB devices, one for the mouse, one for the keyboard, that are presented to, to the OS. And as long as the OS is hooked up and receiving those, then the mouse and the keyboard should work correctly. When you click on settings here, you'll notice that the settings for, for AMT KVM are a little different than the uh, in-band agent. So I can, for example, go to 8-bit graphics if I want to have faster graphics or slower graphics with, and better quality with the 16-bit. Uh, I can still send control and delete and so on. So take a screenshot and wh whatever. Now I'm going to disconnect this. Um, the terminal is not super interesting, but there's a, a COM port that's exposed to the OS. And so if you put software on to grab that COM port, well, you'll be able to access it from here. Basically, Mesh Central talks to AMT and AMT presents a COM port. And so um, it's useful if you reboot to BIOS and have a BIOS that uh, presents the BIOS screen inside a terminal shell, then you'll be able to change BIOS options like this. Um, I want to show you also the Intel AMT tab. This allows you to uh, access all of the AMT features remotely for this computer. But basically, this is Mesh Commander built inside Mesh Central. So you have like the remote desktop, um, and you have uh, ID redirect here. I won't get into that. Serial port, the hardware information, event log, audit log, uh, security settings, and so on. So you got all the options of AMT here, all available. So basically, you're managing your uh, device entirely without OS agent. Now, if you're in LAN mode or in hybrid mode, you get to add a local agent like I just did, or you can scan the network, find all the AMT machines and add them uh, as a batch, like, you know, in one shot using this dialog box. Now, if you're in LAN or, but if you're in WAN mode and, and then the these two options, the add local and the scan network, will not be available because obviously in WAN mode, the server cannot reach any devices on the local network. There isn't any local network. You're out somewhere on the internet. So in that case, there's the setup box. So what you do is you download uh, Mesh Command, which is right there at the bottom. You download it for your operating system. In this case, probably Windows or Linux. And once you download that, you click on setup here and <clears throat> you will basically um, have to copy mesh command over to the remote AMT machine and run this command and do it as administrator. And you can do this periodically. So maybe every week you run this command. And what will happen is this command will call contact mesh central and will, with the assistance of mesh central will set up AMT correctly and we'll set up AMT to call back home. And so AMT will uh, appear on your network here and you'll be able to manage it, even though it is, um, it is fully remote on, in WAN mode. Um, a few other things I wanna mention. If you click on a device, you'll notice there's no file tab when you're in, uh, when you're in agentless mode. And that's because uh, you basically AMT runs underneath the OS, so there's no way for AMT to send a file to the OS, if that makes any sense. So the file tab won't be there. Um, you know, you'll also notice that if you have AMT and an agent, that's no problem. You install the agent, and then when you go on desktop, you'll see both the connect button for the agent, so this is the in-band agent, or the OS agent, and you'll have the hardware connect here for AMT. So this is um, basically AMT's remote desktop right there. So <clears throat> if you are in an agent group, you can also use AMT. But if you're an agentless group, then you're only using AMT, no agent. And so occasionally you can run the uh, configuration button uh, command line here to set up your AMT uh, correctly. So hopefully that makes sense.
The last thing I want to cover is that when you click on a device group, you can click on, um, you can see this line AMT, and this allows you to change the policy of how you want to set up your AMT. So usually you want to do that before you start setting up devices. You want to, you want to control how you set up AMT. If you don't know what's, what's the right setup is, just click full automatic, say OK, and let Mesh Central take care of it. Um, and basically, I've selected the policy that's the most secure and the most easy to set up, and Mesh Central will just take care of the rest for you. So in any case, this was a review of the two different uh, device groups for Mesh Central. The normal agent one, which is common, everybody uses it, and also the agentless one, the Intel AMT one, where you manage devices with no agent in the OS. Hope that was helpful. Thank you very much.